Hi everybody, I'm Gwen. Welcome to At Home with Gigi. Thank you so much for being here today and I am so excited to be sharing with you these six tear tray DIYs and a one door hanger and I'm going to give you a little sneak peek right here of what I'm going to be creating today and I'm also super excited to tell you that I am part of the God Bless the USA Challenge hosted by Amanda over at Six Kids and a Glue Gun and her two co-hosts Chantel at Crafty Hints and Brenda at Rustic and Lace DIYs and I will have their channels along with everybody that is participating in this challenge listed down in my description box so please make sure you click on that description box and go check out all these wonderful ladies now let's get started this first DIY we're going to be using three of the dice from Dollar Tree the paint is from Apple Barrel in bright red and Admiral Blue I did not use that larger bottle of blue paint there just the smaller one and of course the Waverly chalk paint in white you know red white and blue and we're going to use three of the ladders from the Dollar Tree that you get over in the school supply area for the USA part and I'm just going to start with giving each of the dice a good coat of paint I'm going to give it a coat let it dry then do a second coat because I want to make sure that none of the original color of the dice is going to show through And for my red and blue paint, because I did not have the exact colors and chalk paint that I wanted, I just used Plaster of Paris, and I do that a lot of times, and just added it to the paint. I don't have a specific recipe. I just take a teaspoon and add it until I get the consistency that I want. But I will tell you this, and just make sure that you keep stirring until you get it really smooth, or it will come out really lumpy. Learned that the hard way. I just love this Admiral Blue. I am so glad I decided to go with this color instead of the Cobalt Blue. It is just gorgeous. But anyway, I'm just going to add a layer of Mod Podge and then put my letter on top and center it up as best I can. Looking back at it now, I probably should have trimmed the edges of that U just a little bit because it is a little bit large, but that's okay. I love how it turned out. Again, I'm just gonna do the same thing with the S and the A. This is just such a quick, fun way to make a sweet little addition for your tiered tray. And if y'all watch any of my videos, y'all know how much I love a tiered tray. And I think it turned out so, so cute. For this DIY, we're going to make a faux book stack using this wooden crate from the Dollar Tree, the bright red paint, from Apple Barrel and then again the Admiral Blue from Apple Barrel and I'm also going to use this Waverly chalk paint in white and I went ahead and just gave the crate a good coat of the chalk paint and let it dry and then I taped off the center because I'm a messy painter and I just wanted to make sure I did not get the blue and the red on my white paint. I end up doing two layers of the red and then two layers of the blue paint I really wanted my colors to just pop. Now, if you're going for a more rustic, vintage -y look, then you can just do the one coat and then kind of distress it a little bit, but I wanted the bright, vibrant red and blue. And yes, I did tape off the top of my crate because again, I am a messy painter. And the letters you see laying there on the table, I had originally planned to use those. Those came from Dollar Tree, they're transfer letters, but I thought they were just a little too big to fit on the crate. I'm using these letters that came from Walmart and I didn't have any white ones so I just painted them with my white chalk paint. And then while those were drying I just added in a strip of ribbon and this came from Michaels and I thought it was just so cute and I just cut a strip and wrapped it around and just hot glued it on the inside. I'm just going to add a layer of Mod Podge and as you can see I already have my words on the um, 
little popsicle stickers. I am fat fingered y'all and it is so hard for me to add letters to something. So I do whatever I can to make it easier on me. And these are not perfect by any means so please grant me a little bit of grace but I like the homemade just kind of handwritten look that the chalk paint gave them as I was peeling them off. They kind of had a chippy look to them and I really like it but you'll have to let me know what you think. If you're here from the playlist, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to At Home with Gigi. I hope you'll decide to become a part of my YouTube family and hit that subscribe button. It is absolutely free. If you are a returning subscriber, hello, how are you? Thank you for coming back and supporting my channel. It just means so much to me. And I hope all of you will smash that like button if you are finding value in my video. But thank you again for being here. I did go back in and add another layer of Mod Podge on top of all the letters just to make sure everything stayed in place. These little stars came from Amazon and they are so cute and they match everything just perfectly, but the ends of them are so stinking tiny. I had to use a needle and thread this string through it and then run it through the stars to ever get the string to go through, but anyway, Got through all of that and I'm just tying them off at the end at different varying lengths and I added a little sheer bow to the top of it and I thought it turned out just so cute. I actually wanted a red bow but I cannot find my red ribbon anywhere. The saga of over organizing continues but anyway I just love how this turns out. It's just so super cute. this DIY we're just going to make a sweet little sign for our tiered tray and I'm just going to use one of these little tiny canvases that came from Walmart and they come in like a packet of two or three and I've had these so long I don't remember exactly if it's two or three and then I'm also going to just add one layer of this bright red paint from Apple Barrel and let that dry completely and then I'm just going to add a sticker that came out of that booklet of scrapbooking stickers that you've seen laying there. And then once my canvas is dry, I'm just going to add a layer of Mod Podge to my little sticker and then just position it on the front of the canvas and get it as centered as I possibly can. And then I'm just going to add another layer of Mod Podge over the top. After letting the canvas dry completely, I'm just going to place it into the back of the picture frame and it, as you can see, it just fits in there perfectly. It didn't need any hot glue or anything, it just stayed and I'm going to add these two little stars that came in a packet of garland beads from Amazon. And that's it. It was just so quick and easy and I thought it was just adorable. I think it looks so cute on my tear tray. If I would change anything, I think I would have left the canvas white because I believe that the sticker would have shown up better if it was a white canvas, but oh well, I think it's still pretty super cute. Okay, for this DIY, we're gonna make over the little travel trailer and the tractor. And both of them are from the Dollar Tree and I'm just, I just took them outside, spray painted them with the paint I had on hand, which happened to be this blue gloss and then the white from Krylon. And I just started with a blank canvas and I'm just going to go in and paint in the tires on the little travel trailer and then just go back and just paint it. And you know, it's going on my tiered tray. That's gonna be a patriotic tiered tray. So it's gonna be red, white, and no blue on it. The blue's on the tractor. And I'm just going to do the same thing with the tractor because the blue did kind of make all the little features disappear. So I'm going to go back in and paint the tires black and then just add a little bit of black to different areas of the tractor just to make the, um, the little features pop. And that's all I'm going to do to the tractor. Well, I'm going to paint in the hubcaps, but I thought it was just adorable the way it is. And I actually, I loved the blue. I didn't think I was going to like it because it was shiny, but I actually loved it. I 
as you can see my stars laying there on the table that was another DIY but I had so many that I had to leave something out of this or the video would have been crazy long so you won't get to see those this time and I'm just using some more of the bright red from Apple Barrel with some of the plaster of Paris mixed in with it. And I'm just going in and just painting in the details and stripes of the little travel trailer. Now I did go back and do a second coat of the red paint. As you can see, just the one, it was very thin. And if you want to go for that faded, distressed look, then by all means, just leave it with one coat. But I wanted it, that red to really pop. And then I'm just going to add a little bright yellow door. I thought that was just, just the perfect touch for this. Just seems so retro and just, I love this. I thought they were just precious. I am so excited to show y'all my tiered tray, or should I say tiered trays. I have made so many items, collected things from the Dollar Tree, from Amazon, and I just can't wait to show you how they all came together. I am just excited about it. Y'all know I love a tea tray. And this is what they look like finished. I think they turned out just perfectly adorable. You'll have to let me know what you think. What colors would you have painted them? For this DIY, we're going to use these wooden cubes from the Dollar Tree, some of the bright red apple barrel paint and the Admiral Blue apple barrel paint again, and the Waverly chalk paint in white. And I'm going to use just one of the single stars over there from that stencil that's laying there on the table. We're going to be making candles out of these little wooden cubes, and I'm just going to paint three of them the blue, five of them red, and then four white. And I did give each set of cubes two coats just to make sure because that wood I'm not even sure it's real wood but whatever it's made out of it really soaked up the paint so I give them each two coats just to make sure they had good solid coverage After they dry, I'm just taking a stencil and I'm going to stencil a white star on each of the blue cubes. And then again, after they dry, I'm just going to take some of the wood glue that came from the Dollar Tree and then I'm just going to use my little brush and brush it on there and it sets up very, very quickly. And then just stack them on there in the red, white, and blue pattern. I think I said that right. In other words, I want it to be red, white, red, white, and then with each one, I want the blue to end on top. If that doesn't make sense, you can just see how I have them laying here <laughs> to see my pattern. For my candle wick, I'm just going to use some of the, uh, I believe it's hemp string from Walmart. I can't remember off the top of my head and I'm just cutting a tiny little piece and using some hot glue and attaching it to the top of my candle. So I can't decide, do they look like little miniature candles or do they look like little miniature fireworks? Let me know, but I think they're going to make a great addition to my tear tray. I found these awesome little bird houses at Walmart and when I saw them I was like, oh my goodness, they look like rockets and I knew that they would just be perfect on my tear tray and I, I just loved them and I think they turn out so cute. I can't wait to show you. And I decided that I wanted to paint the top of one of the rockets birdhouse 
blue and then the bottom of it red and then do the opposite for the other and then I painted the center of the birdhouses white. And yes, I've told y'all I am messy, messy, messy painter, so I tape off the center to try and keep it as nice and clean as I can. And again, I'm just using the bright red color from Apple Barrel and then the Admiral Blue. I let the white paint dry completely, then I just went back and put a strip of painter's tape on each side. And I just went in, as you can see, I'm painting a stripe of red, just trying to make it look a little bit more like a rocket. At least I hope I did. And I just used another one of the stars for my stencil and just added a blue star to the center of each of the red stripes. This would be such a fun, fun project to do with your kids. And I think they are just absolutely adorable and it really doesn't take any time. The longest part is just waiting for your paint to dry. So tell me, did I succeed in making them look like little rockets? I can't wait for you to see them on the tear tray at the end. I just love them. I can't wait to show you this DIY. We are making a door hanger using a pizza pan from the Dollar Tree and this placemat from the Dollar Tree and I just measured off the amount that I would need to cut off from the outer edges of the placemat but because this is from Dollar Tree it's not exactly even so I did have to keep trimming it up just a little bit and it's still not quite perfect but that's okay we're going to cover that up with some rope and no I didn't dump that on the floor there's a trash can there <laughs> I just kept going back and trimming it off until I got it to pretty much the size that I wanted and I just took my pizza pan outside, spray painted it with the Krylon white, and let it dry. And then I'm just going to hot glue my placemat down to the pizza pan. And be careful that hot glue does seep up through there, so I burnt my fingers a couple of times. Then I'm just going to go around and use some rope and cover up those ragged edges of the placemat. And please excuse my big head. After cutting that end off of the rope, I just added a little dab of hot glue and rubbed it in just to keep that rope from fraying. And I attached these two little wooden cubes with a mixture of hot glue and Gorilla Glue. Let that set up. And then I'm just adding a little more Gorilla Glue and hot glue to attach my truck. Then I just set that to the side and let it set up while I painted the word July and the number four. The number four that I'm gonna be using is actually meant to go on your house, so it has the two holes in it, so I just used hot glue, put just a tiny bit in each one, sanded it down until it was smooth, and then I am giving it two coats of the Waverly Chalk paint, and then I'm gonna go in and give it two coats of the Admiral Blue, because I want it to have really good coverage. These little sparkly balls that I'm going to be adding came from, I believe it was Michael's and I think they had them for like 50% off and my idea for adding these, I wanted it to look like there was either balloons or fireworks just bubbling up out of the back of the truck. And then once I got started adding them, I couldn't stop. I just kept adding and adding and oh well, I just think they look really festive and just perfect for the 4th of July. And 
and I'm just adding some rope to the back so you can hang it up and a little messy bow to the front and we are finished. And that's it. I think it turned out so wonderful. I just love it. And just so festive and perfect for the 4th of July. And this is what it would look like if you just wanted to set it up as on an easel and not use it as a door hanger. And that would work just fine as well. And I just love how my tiered tray turned out. Y'all, I had so much stuff. I had to make two tiered trays. <laughs> but some of it I bought. Some of it I made. Like the little house that says home right here that did come from Amazon and I just love it I got it last year I'll try to link it down below if I can find it again but I got a little carried away between the Dollar Tree the Amazon and all the things that I made I just could not show you everything in this video because it would have just been far far too long but thank you so much for being here today I truly appreciate it please don't forget to go check out all the other lovely ladies that are linked down in the description box and give them some love and I'll see you next time. Bye!